Yo, what's up guys? Make sure to check out my Patreon community, link is down below in the description to get all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit points guys. And also make sure to check out my Bybit affiliate link to get up to $4,100 in bonuses if you're depositing more than 500 bucks guys. And with that being said, let's start with the video. All right, guys. So, um, quick breakdown for BTC, guys. As you can see, we are currently seeing some strong momentum again for Bitcoin. Um, we saw this huge fake out below the support area a couple of days ago, about yeah, five or six days ago, around thirty-four thousand dollars to about thirty-two k. And this is the trade that I just um, shared a couple of hours ago in my Discord chat, guys. As you can see, my risk reward ratio was around one to two. My entry was around thirty-seven thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars. My first take profit target is already hit. My second take profit target also already hit, guys. And right now, I'm just waiting until my third and last take profit target is also um, getting hit, guys. And if you're also interested, make sure to check out my Patreon community. Link is down below in the description, guys. And then you will also get all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit points. And since then, um, a lot of people just took the opportunity right here and been accumulating Bitcoin for lower prices. We are already up about 14% from this previous low right here, as you can see, guys. And yeah, um, I would say Bitcoin is definitely in a short term uptrend right now. If you take a look this, at this uptrend right here, you can see, guys, that we are still making new higher lows and also new higher highs at this point um, in this uptrend channel in the four hour time frame. And um, it seems like Bitcoin is trying to get some momentum back and maybe we will, we will break out above this resistance right here. Finally, guys, around thirty eight thousand and four hundred dollars. So I would say, first of all, um let's break down the chart in the weekly time frame real quick guys as you can see in the weekly time frame we are still bearish um but the one bullish indicator guys um we are closing the weekly um, candle in about one day and seven hours so it seems like we are closing this uh, week green it's definitely bullish and like i said it seems like we are already seeing some kind of bottom right here on 33k guys if you ask me i think this could be definitely the bottom right now um because like i said after this huge fake out everyone was expecting a move to about thirty thousand dollars however we didn't saw 30k guys i told you already also my twitter account that if everyone is um leaning into one direction and everyone is expecting a move to about 30k most of the times we will not see it and yeah, maybe we are already uh, we already saw the bottom right here on 33k. What I'm taking a look at right now, also in the daily time frame, guys, very important. The thing is, um, if you take a look at the daily time frame, guys, obviously we are still trading um, in this downtrend momentum channel right here. As you can see, since we topped out at this all-time high around 69k. And I just want to see finally a confirmed breakout from this channel right here. And this could definitely happen, I would say, in the next um, four to five days, guys. So in the next four to five days, if we are closing one or two daily candles, guys, I would say somewhere right here between um, $38,300, guys to about $39,000 right here in this range, all right? Then we would finally break out from this downtrend channel in the daily time frame, guys. And if we are breaking out from here, I think Bitcoin could definitely see a huge short squeeze to about um, over the next, I would, I would say one or two months to about 53, I would say 50 to about 54k guys this is still my midterm target for btc i think this squeeze could definitely still happen guys because the thing is also right now that a lot of short sellers are still definitely in control for bitcoin guys i mean you could um take a shot on every bounce right here for the last couple of months on btc and you would make a lot of money but i think if we are finally breaking out from this downtrend channel for btc right here then that, like i said we could definitely see a squeeze to about 52 53 54k guys um the thing is around 52 53 54k is definitely a lot of resistance to be honest with you guys i think if we are reaching this level we will not be able to break through it because the problem is basically that we have um, a layer of resistance right here 
from the past price section in March, April and May. There are still a lot of backholders sitting right here and also at the same time in this range, guys. We have also a lot of retailers sitting at these prices and that's why I would say if we are reaching this area again around 53, 54 K, you, you can definitely expect a lot of selling pressure coming in for Bitcoin, guys. But for now, the, bit, the most important thing is, guys, I'm just focusing right now on the immediate short term. Uh, like I said, we are definitely looking bullish right now. Um, seems like some people are definitely trying to manipulate manipulate uh, the Bitcoin chart right now. As you can see, um, I would say let's switch in the one hour time frame real quick, guys. As you can see right here, we saw this huge fake out about $38,000. Some people took definitely some breakouts, long position at this point. And then they've been just liquidated again on the way down. And then we saw another fake out below the support key area around $37,500. And right now we are going up again. So it seems like um, retailers are not moving the price at all right now. It seems like some whales or so are just moving the price to liquidate some and to hunt some stop losses at this point, guys. Because we are just seeing some chop cho some choppy price action in the markets for the last couple of weeks, guys. And that's why we are maybe seeing this type of um uh, weird uh price action right here in this stop loss hunts from uh all the people who are just trying to manipulate the markets like i said guys um yeah i'm definitely in the media short term i'm definitely bullish for btc guys i think we will most likely see right now short squeeze to about thirty-eight thousand dollars after we saw this huge um uh, fake out below thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. I think, like I said, there is definitely a possibility for short squeeze. My next short-term target is definitely this overhead resistance around thirty-eight thousand dollars, and then we have just to see how Bitcoin will react to this supply zone right here, guys. So this is definitely for me, in my opinion, the next. Um, zone i'm taking a look at right now guys this is definitely a big supply zone right here um around 30 yeah let's say thirty-eight thousand dollars, guys and this right here this would be the biggest demand zone as you can see for the last i would say um one and a half days around thirty-seven thousand and five hundred dollars, guys maybe we'll see just some um price ways uh price ways sideways consolidation over the next couple of days in this range between 37,500 to about 38k but like i said for now i'm definitely bullish and i'm expecting a squeeze to about 38,000 dollars over the next couple of hours guys and then if we are breaking through this resistance right here the next overall target in the four hour time frame for btc would be obviously right here this damn this um, resistance right here, guys, around $38,300, $38,400. If we are breaking through this key area right here and we are closing some daily candles above this range, then the next layer of resistance would be this range around $40,600, of course, guys. And if we are approaching to this area again, of course, I will keep you updated. For now, like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm definitely way more bullish right now and um i'm already also in a long position guys and if you are breaking below this key support i will definitely keep you updated of course on btc guys and yeah that's it for bitcoin